Welcome to the MindTap training video, Introduction to MindTap Computing Courses. Your instructor has prepared this MindTap computing course so that everything is set up to help you focus on what matters most and to let you know where you stand at all times. A reminder, before you get started with your course, run the browser check on all devices that you will use to access MindTap. Although MindTap is mobile ready, all graded assignments must be taken on a computer, either PC or Mac. The first time you open your MindTap course, the help function is displayed on screen to show you where key interface elements are. Click the close icon to hide help. Click the question mark icon at the top right to reactivate help anytime you need it. While all MindTap courses have a similar structure, each MindTap course has unique features, so your own course may look slightly different. Displayed on screen is your learning path. Think of it as part of your homepage. Using the icons at the top, you can display your course in three different views. The default is the week view, which shows activities your instructor has assigned for the week. The unit view displays the reading activities and assignments for your entire course. The date manager view allows you to see what's due and when in a single snapshot. In the unit view, the first thing you will see is a list of introductory materials. In some MindTap courses, you may see additional tools, such as data files needed to complete the hands-on labs or a lab user guide. These materials are provided to help you succeed in your coursework and beyond. To the right of your screen is the app doc. These are tools that help you stay organized and efficient. To view your overall progress in the full MindTap course, click the app doc icon for the progress app. Among other things, the progress app displays your overall score in the course to date and the amount of time you've spent in the course. You can also see your score for each assignment, any comments your instructor made, and the number of attempts you took to complete the assignment. Study Hub helps you organize all your study tools in one place. You can create your own personal study guides, review your notes and highlights from the readings, and access previously bookmarked material. When you create a custom study guide, MindTap automatically imports the content you selected from a reading into your study guide. You can sync content such as key terms, highlighted material, or shared notes. The Notes and Highlights tab allows you to see your notes within a reading and jump back to that reading for reference. The Bookmarks tab lets you quickly access content you bookmarked during the course. You should take time to explore all the apps in the app doc. Most MindTap courses include pre- and post-assessment tests. The pre-assessment exam helps you measure how much you may already know about the topics you will study throughout the course. The analytics and reporting make it easy to see how you're progressing. At the end of the MindTap learning path, you will see one or more post-assessment exams. The post-assessment is a valuable way to test the knowledge you have gained throughout the course and compare it to what you knew when you took the pre-assessment at the beginning of the course. The post-assessment is a timed, multiple-choice quiz that counts toward your grade. If you have questions during a MindTap session, you can choose the Customer Support option on the menu below your name. At Cengage, we continually strive to better our solutions and to help you succeed. At the end of your course, you will find an optional student survey. We encourage you to take a few minutes to provide us with your feedback so we can continue to improve. For more tips on working through MindTap computing courses, see the other videos in this series.